Hey guys, FNWGP here, and in this video I'll be painting Cypher. Now I started by priming a black, and I'll be going over all of his power armor and Abaddon black. For his robes, I'm going to start off by doing two coats of Zandri Dust. The undercape will be done in Mephiston Red. I'll be giving the top portion of the robes a wash in Seraphim Symbiae, followed by a dry brush of Upshapti Bone and Screaming Skull. Now I chose to dry brush rather than highlight because I wanted a dirtier look. I'll be washing the under cape in Agrax Earthshade to keep with this grody look we got going. And I'll be doing a little edge highlighting in Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet. Now with Lead Belcher, I'll be going around and picking up all the silver bits. And speaking of Lead Belcher and painting guns, I totally think that that Free Heresy pistol that uh, Cypher has is Brother Adamus's, and that Cypher is actually Zariel. And the only reason I bring this up is because GW said something on their Facebook page about his pistol, and I had just got done reading the uh, Angels of the Descent, so I was like, dang, I know this.
And before that known oil wash, I'll be going around and getting all the gold bits in Balthasar Gold. Now I'll be focusing on the finer details in life. I'll be giving the plasma pistol a base in McCrag blue, followed by a wash in Drakenhof nightshade and a highlight of Calgar blue and Araman blue. Now I kind of had a little bit too much paint on these highlights, so I'm going to be fixing that at the end with another wash of Drakenhof Nightshade to kind of like blend the overpaint into the cracks. Now I'm going to try and put this wash into the recesses. A little bit of Buckman's glow for his face. And I'll be doing all the other pieces in Morfang Brown, followed by a wash of Agrax or Shade. And for the angel on the back, I'll be starting with Caliban Green and a highlight of Warpstone Glow.
With the Fist and Red, I'll be going around and picking out a few things, like the Insignia on the, uh, I guess, groin area, and then the uh, wings on the hilt of the sword. I also did a quick wash of Recklin Flesh Shade on his face. Now for all the things that I want white, I'm going to be going around and basing them in a base of Woolsall Grey. Now I'll be throwing a highlight on all the gold pieces with Gehenna's gold, except for the bullet side metal, if you like doing that. Now the pictures on the GW website show that this being done as a sword, like just everything white and really no detail, but I'm going to do it my own way and, you know, be stupid and mess it up by going over all the white with null oil to kind of bring back some detail. Now I'm going to highlight everything in Army Painter's matte white because I like this. Uh, I feel like it's not as runny as White Scar. I mean, it still gives that crappy white coverage, but I feel like it's a bit more controllable.
and after a little bit of touch up, we're finished. Thanks again for watching guys, if you like what you see, then thumbs up and subscribe.